Gabby, do you think it's a good idea to save money? Yeah. What if you end up not using them all? What if you save up a ton of money and then don't live long enough to use them up? Give it to me. Give it to you? <laughs> She's a smart girl, huh? Hey guys, today's video is about whether it's still worth saving it money. Saving money. Uh, many people say that when, if you have some money uh, that you can use, you should use them because saving it for later, it's like you might end up never using them because you. Rich people say. <laughs> Um, you might never use them because you're just gonna save and save and save your whole life and it's not a problem. that's not a problem and um, never use it so I just wanted to talk to you about like would you if you have any savings would you like want to enjoy them and use them now so you would have nothing left when you die or would you rather um, use not as little as possible, but just uh, only as much as you need so you can have something left. Some people also say, what if you don't live long enough to use up all your savings? Um, but I see the problem with that. What if you do? What if you do end up living till you're like 85 or 90 or even longer? And by that time, you're unable to work and the like you don't have any savings um the social security whatever they're paying is usually not enough especially if you don't have a house paid off and you still have mortgage or rent um so in that case when you're like so old you can't work it, it's it would be impossible to live on just social security alone so this would be a very bad situation. So many people would say like, oh, I might not live long enough, let's just waste it and spend it all now. And if you spend it all now, you're at big risk not to be like very poor when you're old and maybe relying on some assistance that if that's still gonna exist when you're old um, 40, 50 years from now, right? So let's say you do save money and you end up not living too long and um, um, not being able to use up all your savings. So if you have kids, it's not a problem. You can just give all your money to kids. <laughs> She's listening there, right? Or the property, the house, whatever, anything you have, uh, you can just give it to your kids. So to me, it's like the main point, the reason why I'm saving money is just so my kids could have a better start than I did when I was younger. Uh, it's much easier to like even go to college or get your first car or anything like that when you have your parents that can help you with that. But if you have to, like many people do, borrow money for everything and then by the time you pay off your student loans or get an out of debt, you're like 40 or something and at that time it's too late to have kids for most people especially women <laughs> and or if you do have them that's even a harder situation because you'll be really struggling with paying all the bills and loans and still raising kids right so when you have a parents that can help you have a good start in your life you the life will be much easier for you so it's not only whatever I'm earning or saving, it's for me only. It's also for my kids. So when people say like, what's the point of saving if I don't get to use them all? I mean, if you have somebody you love that can use them, <laughs> you can save it for them. It's like once you have kids, it's like, it's like you're never gonna die because if you have kids, you have grandkids and great kids and so on, and it's like part of you will stay forever, right? I don't know about adopted kids. I never had <laughs> adopted kids, but... By the time you're old, it's going to be so hard to raise your kids. Yeah. So it, it makes you not want to live forever. Oh, no, when I'll be old, you'll be almost old too <laughs> so 
yeah but by that time you might have kids and grandkids if i live that long if not i mean it's it's like it doesn't matter if you don't get to use up all your stuff now you can your kids and grandkids that people after you can enjoy it and be thankful that they actually got something from you and uh like in something positive and not something like a debt <laughs> you know well i don't think you can pass on debt but like when your parents are in debt and broke many kids end up helping them and that's i'm i don't think they're really happy about that but they kind of feel obligated to do it so that's not a really good situation either so thank you guys for watching i hope this video will motivate you to save money even if you don't think you're gonna live long enough to use them up just think about your kids your family or even if you don't don't have kids maybe you have nephews or nieces that might um use whatever is left after you if you don't get to use it or some people even leave their wealth to pets which i don't know how that works but they do <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye bye gabby